Hey, good morning, guys. Uh, this is Mega Comrade Officer Clement Iranomigo Edegbe, uh, broadcasting live from Dallas, Texas, United States. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, 5.35 a.m. here in Dallas, Texas. United States Central Time is about... Uh, today's date is... Uh, Wednesday, March 13, 2024. So, I'm heading for work right now. Uh, tomorrow, I am going to be on live video. It's going to be crazy. I need you all to share this video. Uh, what we are hearing concerning the situation with uh, uh, Minister Momo, uh, the Minister of Niger Data on the Development. I repeat, the Minister of Niger Data on the Development. It's not on the development to Instead of development, Minister Momo, <laughs> uh, the information we are hearing about you, I want you to share this video to go and meet him. Enough is enough. Minister, whether Abubakar Momo, Abakuru Momo, I don't know. So, uh, we heard that the whole project that was directed to a do state. Minister Momo have decided to, 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 to do what nobody in the history of ministerial position have ever done. We don't know where Minister Momo is going with this. We don't know the reason why he did this. We don't know his explanation. So if you know you are close to Minister Momo, Abu Bakr or whatever, Lahaji or whatever, he need to come and explain. He need to send his people himself to send us message. You know, to let us know what really, really transpired. The reason why he decided to carry everything to a donut. Everyone knows me. I am a very, 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 very good man, generic man, who believe in equal opportunity. So I want to use this medium to respectfully ask Minister Momo. He's not the only one that supported President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. He's not the one that fought for President Bola Ahmed Tinubu during the primary election. Without primary election, you will not win general election. Minister Momo, this is Iran Omigo. Don't say I did not even try to ask you. Don't say I did not even try to hear your own side of the story. We will investigate everything that you have done all your political career we will expose inexposable things that you have done the good one oh the bad one oh the public will know about it oh god to prevent unwanted expose it is better you do the right thing you are not the only minister in Nigeria. We know what other ministers are doing. This is just a message. Civil, constructive message to Minister Momo. There, for the obedient uh, uh, Labour Party 
senator representing Edo South Federal Constituency. Oga, the 500 million palliatives or 500 or 1 million, I don't care, 1, 1 billion or whatever, whatever amount of palliative that was given to you to share for the innocent poor citizen of Edo, Edo South Federal Constituency made up of several local governments or Ga Senator Matthew Oravide go and advise your boy advise him because we know the horror you did to Edo people when you were a senator representing Edo South my local government did not get anything from you for eight years my community did not get even pure water from you so senator matthew Oravide, you see how your political career is going now very soon anybody that appear or Oravide will not win a counselor not to talk of chairmanship then let's move forward to uh Oga Senator Monde Ukbewuru. Oga, I know you just finished your primary. Eh, uh, concessor or not concessor or inconcessor, we don't care. You are not the APC flag bearer that is going to face Dr. Aswen Igodalo. Barista Akpata and many others. Oh God, the palliatives that was given to you by President Mohamed I mean, by President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. We don't want you to make Tinubu look bad. Oh God, release everything. Everything. From the beginning to the end. This has nothing to do with APC, PDP, Abga, Labour, Bokboe. No book, but it has nothing to do with it. Then release everything. Baba Senator Comrade Adamali Oshomule. Uh, we want to believe there was no palliative. Because we believe you would have been the first person to start distributing the palliative given to you. Baba, send your people AS and P to start distribution sharing the palliative that was given to you sir that is what i came here to say this morning and may the almighty allah continue to bless every good citizen of edo state if you know you are in a house of rap house of repetitive you have not shared your palliatives austerity hardship palliative we all know what a lot of people are going through including us we in diaspora we are feeling it because our parents are in nigeria we work really really hard here you all know how difficult it is so go and share your palliatives that is all i tell you may god bless you i love you you can see i'm heading for work right now value who value you value who value you this governorship 2024 governorship election uh, the political terrain now in a do state uh, is moving on you also what happened yesterday a lot of people called me they said more than one million as of yesterday I saw the video that is honorable Dr. Aswen Igodalu did with PFM Situation Room. Uh, a lot of people, they did not let me sleep. They are calling up to now. I want to congratulate Dr. Aswen Igodalu. Congratulations to you. You have done what His Excellency Governor Godwebaseki could not do 
did not have opportunity to do. You have done what Senator Comrade Adam Ali Oshomule could not do, did not have opportunity to do. You have done what Pastor Osage Ezeyamu and others was unable to do. That separates you from these people. And may the Almighty Allah, Almighty God, continue to guard you the way he's guarding you right now. No one knows tomorrow. Do what your mind, your heart, your spirit told you to do. Don't listen to any bagger. Do it. No one knows tomorrow. Nobody is giving the winning certificate of Edo 2024 gubernatorial election at all. Nobody. So it's open feed. Whoever, whoever come close to Edo, told it or tell Edo people, or able to convince Edo citizen, we win that election. Tinubu go rata. Tinubu no go rata. Anek go rata. Oga, we are ready. That election is going to be free and fair. Anything shorter than free and fair, we will not take it. We will not take it to. You all know President Tinubu did not like social media. You all know that. He don't like it. He don't want blood pressure to go up. So he's not ready to die because of your political career. All right? I love you. Bye for now. God bless you.